Why do you think that is? Coach, given how Tennessee has won their last two games, um, how much more important is it um, to close games out in the second half this week? This is a team that, you know, you, you on paper, if you don't watch it, they say, well, they've gotten lucky. No, they haven't gotten lucky. They've got a veteran quarterback that that uh, is number one in this league for points responsible for. Okay, let's just start there. And certainly he's got people around him. He's got great receivers to get the ball to. He's got, uh, you know, one of the top four or five tailbacks in the nation. We've got a huge challenge this this weekend. You know, we've got to play and put things together and play for four quarters. We've got to, we've had to do that all year. Uh, they got athletes all over the field. Uh, you know, probably from an offense standpoint, probably the most athletes we've seen thus far. But certainly, this is a, a different challenge with a quarterback that uh, uh, it, it can put points up all kinds of ways and is confident and should be confident based on how they've how they've started the season and how he's played. Go to second row, Ben. Together on three, one, two, three. Yes. Sam Kahn Jr. covers the Aggies, among other things, for ESPN, and uh, he joins us now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. It's uh, interesting. It's 5-0 and for the third straight year. The question is, is it different this time? At 3.30 CBS. This game is at Texas A&M, Dan. The Aggies are a seven-point favorite against the Tennessee Volunteers. So this is a pretty big game. You would think that, that home field advantage would translate into wins, but, but you just have to play well. I mean, they, they're 2-6 and six against top 25 teams since they joined the SEC, and, and that's not going to cut it. How can Texas A&M's defense suffocate Tennessee's offense throughout the game? Well, Matt, you know, all the hype about the uh, Aggies' defense is about their bookends, Deshaun Hall and, of course, Miles Garrett. Deshaun Hall and Derek Barnett for Tennessee have both been incredibly productive. So I just think, in general, it's going to be tough to sit back and scan the field and go through progressions without being completely sideswiped and demolished. I, I don't know that Tennessee's offensive line has faced a defensive front quite this good. Certainly, I think it's a matchup edge, but the question, I, I don't know that that matters come Saturday, you know, unless they actually execute and they take care of the football. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is brought to you by Memorial Herman official sports medicine partner of Texas A&M Athletics. I guess it's kind of a big weekend, y'all. ESPN College Game Day, uh, two undefeated teams. You know, the atmosphere, I can't even begin to imagine what the atmosphere is going to be like on Saturday. But how fired up are you for this Saturday matchup against Tennessee? You know, I've been saying that this is the biggest game since I can remember. It Texas also A&M and Tennessee. Two it's going to be three fire emojis. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be 100, baby. <laughs> if A&M makes a big play, Gabe will tweet the two big eyeballs. The entire talk in relation to football in the state of Texas is undefeated A&M, undefeated SEC, and ESPN College Game Day is going there, and ESPN is fueling all that talk. And then we have our game here. We have Texas A&M and Tennessee. A&M just two and five the last two seasons in SEC home games. They haven't won a top 10 matchup in Kyle Field since 1975. Emory Ballard was running the wishbone. Tennessee's lost 11 in a row against the SEC West, so who wins this game? Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, it's all about Texas A&M, baby. Let's go. Gig <laughs> him. Gig him. and m across the board. What say you, coach? It's between my old friend, Smokey, and my new friend, Reverly. Give me the lookalike. Come on out of here, Kali. <laughs> Be Tennessee. Give me a, give me a kiss. <laughs> Texas A&M and Tennessee, the main event in college football this week. 
Everything else is on the undercard. Neither with a loss, each in the top ten. The nation centers around College Station. Now, emotionally, to play this game the way it needs to be played, that's on you. And if you can't play out there today, I don't know where you can play. It's going to be a great, great, great atmosphere. And like I said yesterday, let's have some fun. Let's have the most fun of anybody here. All right, do what you do. Fellas, today we are the storm. Come in this thing. We've been through all the workouts. Yeah. We've been through the We've been through the decline abs. Fellas, we've been through the decline abs. We've been through the sledge. We've been through all that. If you ain't coming ready to play today, then I don't know where else you should be, man. Let's go out there. Let's have fun, like Coach said. It's all about having fun. Don't make the moment any bigger than it is. Let's go out there and do what we do. We are the storm today. Let's go. Every storm has a calm that precedes it. Those moments are for focus, a cap on the prep, before lifting the lid on this premier matchup. Here we go. Everybody's been waiting for this one. And we're about to put the foot in the ball. And here it goes. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is brought to you by Pepsi, official soft drink of Texas A&M athletics. Here we go, fellas. Let's ride, all right? Let's ride. Both the Aggies and Volunteers notch early takeaways. A&M gets more out of theirs. Snap, drops back. Now we'll throw to this sideline, and that is caught, and that is Kurt. Kurt goes out at the 16-yard line. That's the spot needed for the first down. Play action. Kurt has an angle on a man. Five. Touchdown! 13 yards. Just a little stop route. Very short route, but he outruns everybody to the pylon and gets the touchdown for the Aggies. Middle pressure, they've set up a screen that's going to go from the yard. Chasing him, stops, spins out and breaks the tackle. Still on his feet inside the 10. It goes to the 7 and he fumbled the ball. And it's recovered by Armani Watts at the Aggie 7-yard line. What a play. It's becoming apparent playmakers fill the field. Fireworks light up the first quarter. Hey, we're going to go tempo right now. One word plays fast, okay? There's a handoff around the corner, goes Williams, 40. That's a man, knocked that guy on his backside and carries to the 44-yard line. There's play action by Knight, he's throwing deep, and that is Reynolds, and he made the catch inside the 15. And out of bounds, they will roll at the Tennessee 10-yard line. Here's the throw, that's a touchdown catch, and that's Reynolds, two yards. You can in there defensively, but there's no stopping that one. Hey, Drew. A lot of more loans. Go. <laughs> At the 9, the 15, the 20, and head on. Wow, ball's on the turf. Did a and get it? Yes, they did. Wow. Ball's on the turf. Hit him head up. That was Gillespie, who made the broke man. Who yes, made sir. a hit. First and goal, and here's Trevor on a keeper around the left side, cuts back, got it that time, touchdown! Seven on that one to Trevor Knight. Great job! Smoke clears in the second, but a fire remains in both teams. It becomes easily apparent an SEC top 10 matchup has broken out. The game can possess all the explosives at once, but it's the toughest will walk away, still unbeat. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is brought to you by ASCO, your place for case construction equipment in Texas. 
The Aggies are out in front, still to start the second half. They're only looking forward. Dobbs can't escape. It was Jared Johnson who completed the effort. Dobbs fumbles. It's loose. And it's recovered by Deshaun Hall. Another Tennessee turnover. Up the middle. Touchdown, Texas A and M. Travion Williams at seven yards, and it's 27-7. The Ags and Vols continue to collide back and forth, but it's Tennessee that gains ground. From the 15 on first down, up the middle, Alvin Kamara. Touchdown, Tennessee. Up the middle, touchdown, Tennessee. John Kelly. After an exchange of punts, Trevor Knight looks to deliver a punch. Hey, this is big. Go right now. All right, drive it right down the field. Third down and two. This is big. And there he goes. And that's uh, Knight. 45, 40, 35. Touchdowns. Knight connects. Tennessee is wobbling. But the Volunteers have been here before. The knockout blow never comes when playing UT. with uh, two timeouts remaining and 41 seconds. The Aggies will have one last chance to finish it in regulation. There's a run by Travion to the 40, get out of bounds. Backside pressure throwing and that's a catch. That's Christian Kirk, get out of bounds. He did at the 40 yard line. 22 on the pass, 23 seconds left in the game. There's a handoff. It goes to Travion. Travion had tried to strip the ball from him, and he goes down at the 18-yard line. And AM calls a timeout after a 22-yard pickup by Travion Williams. Eight seconds to go in the game. And AM apparently will try a field goal. Waiting on the snap. There it is, it's up, it's on its way. Missed it, missed it. The most important thing to remember is that both teams get an opportunity. It's like a baseball inning. If there is an advantage in this game, 
It has to be with Tennessee because they're catching a very tired A&M defense. They've had 95 offensive plays run against them in this football game. Texas A&M has won the toss and elected to play defense. Tennessee will be on offense going in this direction. Hand off, nothing going. Stuffed at the 25 yard line is Kamara. Dobbs will keep. Aggies will run him out at the 21 yard line. Rolls right, looking, throwing, and that's not a first down. He's out of bounds at the 16 yard line. They're going to kick the field goal. That's a nice play by Nick Harvey to get over there quickly. The Aggies hold Tennessee to a field goal on their first overtime possession, but they're unable to end it. Daniel Acamera shakes off his previous miss to tie the game after one OT. Turn the page. The saga continues. One receiver behind the other here on the right side to Buyo and Riddle. There's a throw across the middle, and did he catch that ball? I believe he did, and that will be Kirk at the one-yard line. Did he get his hands underneath it or not? Yes, oh, he, did. he did. He did. He got his hands underneath it. Yes, he did. He was right down here against UCLA that Trevor Knight ran to the left side, kept it for a touchdown. Guess what? It's Knight. Guess what? He got in. 45 to 38. Now Tennessee gets an opportunity at it. They are now going into the noise emanating from those fans. And he's going to air it out, and he will. And it's intercepted. Game is over. It's over. Intercepted by Texas A&M. Armani Watt. Armani Watt's got the INT. Wow. Trevor Knight, one question to you. Is this resiliency? Yeah, that's a picture-perfect definition of it. Can't give enough credit to, to Tennessee. They've done this over and over and over. We knew they were capable of this. They found a way to be in the game, but we found a way to win, and I could not be more proud of our guys. What you see is a team that uh, doesn't panic, a team that um, just keeps playing. And, uh, you know, that, that comes from leadership, not just from the coaches, but from within. And, and I thought our guys did a great job. A little bit of a crazy fourth quarter, but the guys, you know, didn't really blink. They just said, Coach, we're going to win this game. And they went out and, uh, and executed. The most determined team was going to win it, and, and that's for sure. And we got a bunch of determined guys on our, our team. We got a bunch of determined guys on defense. We got a bunch of determined guys in all three phases of our football team, and they weren't going to be denied. It was. Uh, Back and forth shootout, got a little wild there towards the end, but uh, anytime we get in a close game, I put money on our guys because our guys are determined to win. They're not going to give in, and they're going to fight to the end. You got something special going. You hear me? Yes, okay. You got something special going. Stay strong. Play for each other. Take this time right, to get your mind right so we can make this next run. Yes. Everybody good with that? Yes, sir. All right, hit a knee. Hit a knee.